So my beautiful people, I am back with another Outriders video and today guys, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the World Slayer DLC if I think it's worth the money is it worth you parting with those pretty pans those pretty dollars well today, as you guys know I don't hold back, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on it How's it going people, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe Okay, so the Outriders DLC has been out, what, what's the date today? It's the 1st, 1st of July. A birthday in three days, people. I'm getting old, motherfuckers. But yeah, it's been out, well, I've had it since the 28th. I've, had it, I've actually had it early access. I had it a week before, but I wanted to hold back on playing it. I didn't want to play it a week early because I know when you're playing it within that week early, you get to experience a game on those servers where no one else is basically hogging them. So it feels much, much better. Uh, so I thought, you know, I'm going to wait until the 28th where I get to play via pre-order early access. Um, and then I'm going to play a couple days after the game's being released as well, just to see when everyone's on it, if servers hold out. And the game started, <laughs> I mean, you, you pay your pre-order, you get two days early. Uh, but we had about a day and a half early because the servers just couldn't hack it when everyone was trying to get it on for that pre-order early access. But so that was a bit of a shame, kind of let down there. Uh, but to be honest, since then, been on with my pals. Uh, not the best of connections as well in regards to their internet connections. But once we've been together, we've hardly had any issues whatsoever. So connectivity wise, multiplayer connectivity is a million times better than probably what you remember it was back in the early days of Outriders. I mean, it's for me, I'm not gonna lie, it's flawless. I don't have, have no stuttering. I ain't being kicked. None of that. So, yeah, it's flawless. So, what about the content? What do we have? So, the story itself, I ain't gonna spoil nothing. I ain't gonna show you no end game. Well, I should probably show you a little bit of end game footage uh, while I talk about it. But the story itself, for me, was relatively short. I mean, I soloed it, um, did it in about two, two and a half hours, three hours tops, maybe. Probably died once. I know, yes, my build's good. Not the best, but it's good. I can survive a lot of damage. So, yeah, it's probably helped me a lot. But it's quite good. I mean, it's that generic Outriders cheesy madness. I mean, if you like that from the, the initial, from the start, uh, when it first came out, if you like the story, then you're probably going to like this. I did. I'm not going to lie. I like that cheesy shit. I like that over the top shit. So, yeah, it was, the story's fine. I mean, it's a little short. I think what this DLC is, it's more focused on endgame and giving the player, the endgame farmer, what they actually wanted. So endgame, what do we have? So we have a new activity called the Trial of Tire Gratar. I, I don't even know people, I don't even know. It's basically this right here. It's a, well you go through this door in front of me, as you can see. Where's the door? The door's there. This is where it starts. So you go through there and you have all of this. All of these, you can actually do every single one of these things, these rooms, and some of them have dedicated loot drops, as you can see there. Uh, rewards to gain a boot from this one. Um, others have dedicated two, I think this one might have one here, or that maybe not. This one here, helmets, what about this one? A pants, we have arm, body armor. So yeah, you can actually get a full set. If you want to farm dedicated things, you can, which is cool. So yeah, you can, through one run, you can do all of these rooms, but I will warn you, you have uh, basically three attempts, you have three lives to clear out all of these. And it does take an absolute age to do that. I've done it twice, I believe. It took us way over an hour, probably two hours. Uh, probably was our first couple of runs, I'm not going to lie. But it was fun. It's that Outriders end game you're probably used to. Uh, millions of ads just bombarding you at once. Um, what what did let me down is the boss in here. I mean, there's a couple individual bosses. Uh, there's a surfer dude, there's a guy with a spear. There's a few decent bosses, but the main boss is basically a reskin of an early boss. I'm not going to spoil it for you, um, but yeah, he's basically a reskin. Same dude, he's got an extra couple plates of armor on, but his moveset's basically the same, does the same thing. Probably a little bit harder than the first time you meet him in, in this area, in this uh, activity. But besides that, I mean, 
it's okay. It's not what I expected. I'm not gonna lie, I expected more. But it's still quite de it's still decent. It's not bad, it's not poor, it's still decent. Uh expeditions are still here, all the expeditions still drop decent loot too, so you don't have to uh, just stick to this. You can go back and do expeditions and earn the new uh, new apocalypse gear which is basically gear which has three mods on it which i'll show you in a second um but hey we've got a new end game it drops a loot you kill things you get plenty of loot from it um what else can i say <laughs> what else can i say individual rooms here full of enemies you just kill and you just progress on it's as simple as that it's basically what expeditions are just a bigger version of it um but yeah it's still quite good i'm not gonna lie i quite liked it i really did but hey so what else do we have? What else does this DLC offer? Well, it offers a ton of new loot. A ton of new loot, guys. Um, now, obviously, we get new legendaries, plenty of them. Uh, but the new loot in regards to Apocalypse is what I'm talking about here. Apocalypse gear now has three mod slots on it. So as you can see here, my Apocalypse actually got to my helmet. My helmet, I'm actually quite proud of. It's great in my anomaly build. But as you can see, this is an Apocalypse Legendary called the Fondra Stalker, looking badass. And as you can see, guys, we have a third mod slot at the bottom. That mod slot is locked in place. You cannot change that third one that's highlighted in gold there. But that does drop random. So you can get this helmet drop again. It will have a different perk there, but it will be locked in place. You can change one of uh, the other two, as you could before. Uh, but what this does is it just means that when it comes to building there's a whole host of other combinations and possibilities available here a whole host of them guys tons of them um there's new legendary armor sets as well i think there's two for each character as well as a couple of universal uh, armor sets which is that sure this fun just stalker is a part of uh so is this right here the hell of the martyr which is another one i've got i'm quite proud of that as well great for what i'm using here uh, in regards to weapons, I don't think I've got any new ones on me, um, but there are quite a few new legendaries in the game, uh, some badass ones as well, I can actually show you a couple of the mods, I think, let me have a look, actually I might have a new one in my, in my stash here, no I don't, I'm just keeping my stash clear because when you run through the new trials, you get so much loot, you get so much loot, it's unbelievable. Well, hey, there's loads of new mods, guys. There's loads of new um, weapons. Some, you know, the weapons look so good in this game as well, as you know. As you can see here, I've actually unlocked quite a few of the new uh, armor pieces. But hey, you can see there's still quite a few I haven't actually got yet. I haven't actually got yet. So all these lot mods, these are a part of new um, armors, which I haven't had yet. Uh, Weapon-wise, let's have a quick look. I can show you. Um, you can see here there's quite a few of these. I've actually had four or five new legendary armors, uh, weapons, sorry. Dismantled them to get that that gear to get the mod slot. But yeah, there's still quite a few I haven't got. Still quite a few I haven't got. And a lot of, um, I mean, if you played since the, well, if you haven't played for ages, a lot of these mods, some of the beastly ones like Fortress have been nerfed. Some of us have been buffed. A lot of changes here, guys. So there's got to be, it's going to be a lot different um, if you haven't if you took a, a big a big chunk off this game. I know a lot of people deny myself. I haven't played this for months. I come back and so much has changed. Fortress has changed. Morning Winds has changed. A lot has changed. A lot's been added. So yeah, there's also four new expeditions they added early on as well uh, before the DLC. If you haven't played since, like I said, the start, there's an extra four expeditions as well. But what else is there? Well, there's also guys new levels a new leveling system a complete new leveling system so in regards to your class leveling we have uh, your standard old tree which is this we also have a new skill tree called the pax which is basically this adds on to your existing tree so i've got an anomaly i mean this is just absolutely brutal guys what i'm doing here this perk here guys check this out spectral spike damaging skills have a 100% chance to deal additional damage equal to 15% of your anomaly power. I mean, this is a change. I mean, my build is a spinny, spinny, tickle, tickle. I mean, it's it's 
brutal. Uh, it's pow It's I wouldn't say it's powerful compared to what it can do. Top three uh, tricksters will know it can do way better in regards to damage. Um, way better than what I can do. But this changes um, the anomaly builds. This makes you be capable of so much more damage. It's unbelievable. Now we have another tree here as well. I mean, I'm going to actually, what my plan is, I'm going to level up first. I'm going to unlock everything first before I start searching for and building different builds. For now though, I'm going with my build I actually ended the game with ages ago. I've come back into it, it still works fine for me. It's carrying me through a lot of these activities. So yeah, I'm just going to stick with that until I get to end, 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 end game where I've got access to all the highest level gear then i'm going to start building again but hey the new skill trees are there we also have guys ascension uh, which is basically a new means to make your character even more powerful you get 200 points here in total i've only got 20 hits so far it basically means you can level up every one of these to a 10 they go up to a 10 max uh, but this one's a normally so i'm obviously working on this first we have brutality i mean you can see what these things do guys let's make your character so much more powerful so much more powerful so yeah there's these as well but the, the disappointing thing about these is you ain't limited here so at the end of the day everybody's gonna have this to a level 200 um they probably should have give you say 75 points so you can spend here there and everywhere so not everybody's the same in that regard but hey it is what it is it is what it is now do you guys remember the tiers so we had world tiers and that but that's all changed now so we have now guys apocalypse tiers now what is the top level is it 24 yes it's 24 in it's not 24 so my bad it's 40 it's 40 in total so yes basically this is an age to level up it takes an age to level up but when you get to a level 40 i'm pretty sure uh gear here will be a level 70 level 70 gear i'm currently now guys i'm about level 52 but obviously all the um 54 so all the all the enemies scale up the loot drops scale up the everything scales up guys so yes there's quite a lot to grind for uh, quite a lot of now i've played probably between five and ten hours um i'm at a tier 20 but don't get it twisted this started off you started off at a world tier 15 if you was on a world tier 15 before that's where you will be i believe so yes i've basically come up to my fifth tier so far since the dlc and i've played it quite a lot so there's a lot there guys so yes i mean the dlc for me is it worth the money as someone who liked outriders before i liked what it offered in regards to the build the building in the game the weapon combinations the uniqueness to this uh the loot and that in this game i think it is worth the money yes 35 dollars whatever it is 30 quid i mean you can get some games for that but hey i mean money's relative man you spend it i know i went to the cinemas and spent 20 pound on a pick a mix i could have gone to as and got that for about two pound but i'm gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of this so i think the money for me is definitely worth it uh but hey it just takes a grind the game's a grind that's not going to change if that's your thing you want to build you want to show Listen, guys you know you guys know you know what outriders is you know this is just the world slayer it's just outriders on roids it's just it's just bigger it's just bigger there's a lot more to do now uh, in regards to that loot and building and this that, and the other i'm kind of disappointed with the new trials i mean i'm hoping that gets a few changes that gets a few rotations in there but other than that, it's, it is Outriders. It's just bigger and better. That's exactly what it is. So if you enjoyed it before, you're probably going to enjoy it now. If you got bored of it quickly before, um, you probably will get bored quickly now. I mean, there's not much has changed in regards to what it's, what's on offer here. It's just more of it. A lot more of it. So yes, do I think it's worth it? I do. And there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, Outriders, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next.